Hey everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. The Artificial Trainer here, back with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking Phantom Video, which is another reference to video model. It's similar to, to Vase, maybe slightly better than Vase, but we're gonna check it out, see what we think, and let's dive right into it. So I'm gonna use Artificial Studio for this. It's basically an AI toolkit that I put together that combines a bunch of tools and just makes them easier to use in one environment. If you want access to this, it's in beta right now. Just send me a message on Discord or Patreon or leave a comment in the description and I'll give you access. If you don't wanna use Artificial Studio, I still post the workflow and the download links. They should be in the description below. So the download links for the models are in this .sh file. If you don't know how to read this file, you can just paste it into ChatGPT. It'll tell you what the URLs are and then where they go in your comfy UI environment. All right, so I'll to show you how easy it is to get started in Artificial Studio with this, all you need to do is check the model you wanna download from the model downloader tab hit download, mine completed automatically because I already have the models downloaded, but then you just head over to app links after the download completes, click on Comfy UI, and your environment's already ready for you. And then just search Phantom, there's a bunch of pre-added workflows for you. Click on that. And all of your files will have downloaded into the correct places. and you'll be ready to go. If you didn't use Artificial Studio, just make sure your paths are correct for your clip or your text encoder, your model loader, and your VAE. And again, those are, you can reference the download file, that .sh file from my Patreon to figure out which links or which files go where. All right. so. We already have two images in here. We're gonna use these to start. Um, essentially how the workflow works is it resizes the images to what we put in up here, then it encodes them and passes them into the sampler as references. It basically pads the, it, it kind of like the ACE++ concept in Flux, but it, it pads the beginning of the video with our reference images and then as the, video generates, the middle, the model has better context for what we want. And then one other comment, so I do have Torch Compile and Sage Attention on by default because my toolkit installs those correctly by default. So anyone, whether you're on Windows, Linux, Cloud, will have those working right from the jump. If you're local, you're gonna need to adjust these if you don't have Torch Compile and Sage Attention working on your machine. So for Sage Attention, you would turn it to SDPA and for Torch Compile, you just bypass it. So one thing to note for this model, I've found it to work much better with portraits than with like full body images of people. So I would recommend using portraits where possible it's just gonna make your generations much better. All right, so I have these two women with headphones on. I think I'm gonna have them create a podcast together. So let's just say we wanna directly call out the characters. So the blonde woman wearing headphones and the brunette women, woman wearing headphones are sitting in office chairs at a table and talking with each other. Okay, and then from there, as long as you've adjusted your width and height to be what you want, we should just be able to run it. All right, and then the generation is taking eight gigabytes of VRAM right now, so shouldn't really be too much issue to run on any GPUs. You can always, this is without block swap too, so if you run into any issues, just turn the block swap up, attach it here, and I mean, this should run like under four gigabytes, no problem. So the likeness is good, but as I've mentioned, this is just a 1.3B model, so 
quality that we get from this is not going to be great. If you wanted to try to punch up the quality, you could run it through another like Hanyuan or Wan video to video pass at low to noise and hopefully improve the video. But like I said, this is kind of just a uh, proof of concept for the Phantom team at this point. Hopefully at some point we get a 14B model released. Okay, now I want to... So I'm gonna use a high dream generation. I'm gonna generate a teddy bear. And if you haven't seen my high dream, my new high dream Laura training video, we found a way to dramatically increase the quality of high dream. And to me, it's just blowing flux out of the water now. Um, I've switched over to it. It's a bit slower, but it's much more creative and the details are way finer than flux. So I prefer it. Um, and Artificial Studio has workflows for it built right in. So it's been really fun to play with that model. So here you can see what I was talking about. I mean, no upscale at all. This is just an awesome generation from High Dream. Flux would be just much more um, washed out and less detailed than this would be. High Dream actually looks realistic to me, which, whereas Flux kind of looks like it really wants to be realistic. All right, so I just saved off that teddy bear and we're gonna just create a prompt here. I'm gonna say the blonde woman snuggling in bed with her teddy bear. All right, so this one actually pretty good generation. The um, quality isn't the best, right? It could definitely use an upscale pass or something like that, but I mean, looks just like the blonde woman. The teddy bear, the bow is exactly the same. It even has this like red strap on the blonde woman that it carries over. So I like that generation a lot. I think that's really solid. All right, so let's do one now where we don't have a person in it at all. So I'm gonna generate an image of a dog. Man, High Dream is just, I don't think anyone could tell you that this isn't a real image. It's just so solid. Um, this res for life sampler just makes all the difference. And this is only 20 steps. You could get even better quality if you wanted to. All right, so we're gonna drag this in and we're gonna unfortunately have the dog using the teddy bear as a, two, as a chew toy now. All right, so it's an okay generation, but obviously the physics are completely wrong. It's kind of what we get with a 1.3B model. It's not gonna perfectly understand every concept you throw at it, unfortunately. That being said, this is really promising. If they do release something for 14B, I would be really excited about it. All right, so that is it for Phantom subject to video. I hope this is helpful to you. I hope it convinced you to maybe try out Artificial Studio. I've completely re replaced my comfy environment with Artificial Studio because I think it's that helpful. If you wanna give it a try, send me a message, get in touch with me and I'll give you access. Follow me on my other socials. Hit the subscribe button below if you wanna see more of my content. Artificial Studio has allowed me to put content out way faster because I don't have to be tweaking workflows all the time. Everything just works in it. So a lot more content is gonna be coming, a lot more creative content and how I, like how, how can we not just use the models but apply them to create, you know, consistent movie sets, all that kind of thing is gonna be coming. Follow my other socials. Anywhere you can give me a follow helps contribute to create to me creating more content. Thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.